Yo guys, what is going on? This is Mitchell from Saucy Gamers, and in this video, I'm going to be telling you about my top 5 favorite free-to-play games on Steam. If you want to get super cheap games, be sure to click our affiliate link down in the description below for G2A. So without further ado, let's start off with number 5. So number 5 on this list is Team Fortress 2. Now, I've had a lot of fun with Team Fortress 2 in the past. I played it a lot. And then I saw some other games that were free to play that I liked even more. So that's why it's only number five. Um, now this uh, game, Team Fortress 2, if you don't know, is an online first person shooter. And it does get fun for quite a while, but then it starts to get boring. And there are more fun first person shooters out there and other Steam games in general. Um, the links to all these games will be down in the description below, so be sure to hit them up on Steam. Okay, so number four, Dirty Bomb. Dirty Bomb is number four on this list, and that is because it is a very fun online first-person shooter, and it is very, very fun, but the reason it's only number four is that its leveling system is so slow that it makes you get bored, because there are no, uh, there's nothing to unlock as you uh, get into higher and higher levels because you level up so, so, so slowly. So there's really nothing that you can unlock. The only thing that you can unlock uh, in between levels and in between getting all of that money at the end of that level is a loadout card. And yeah, you kind of get those with chances. So that's not really the best thing. So that is why it is number four on this list. I played this game way longer than I played Team Fortress 2, and I've had a lot more fun with it. But uh, don't think that either of these games are bad because they're number four and five on this list, so definitely hit them up. The links are in the description again. So number three on this list is Heroes and Generals. Now, this game is a online World War II simulator game it is very, very fun, and I have to say I absolutely love this game. I just, w I just wish I had more time on my hands to play it uh, because it is just absolutely fun. Um, it is very fun, but it does slowly get boring uh, more and more and more just because there's not as much stuff to unlock, but... It is very skill-based, and that is why it beat out Dirty Bomb and Team Fortress 2 on this list here. So coming in at number 2 is Dota 2. If you don't know what Dota 2 is, which um, most of you should know what it is, it is a very, very fun, very, very popular MOBA, which is an online uh, game. Basically, if you don't know what it is, it's sort of like League of Legends, um, just better... Uh, in my opinion, and that is why it's number two on this list. So, it is very, very fun. There's no need for microtransactions, so that is always a big plus, and it is easy to run, so that is always a plus, too. Alright, guys, so number one on this list is War Thunder. If you don't know what War Thunder is, it is an online tank and airplane simulator, uh, well, sort of simulator, uh, the fighting, uh, you shoot at the ground units, and the ground units shoot at you. You can shoot at the other planes, and the ground units can shoot at each other. It's like uh, this really cool game where you get in these awesome dogfights, and these ground units just battle it out there, and it is just absolutely so much more fun than any of the other games on this list, and it is probably the most fun uh, free game that I have ever ever played so definitely check this one out this game um has an unlock system which is very simple um you basically uh get coins and you are able to buy planes with them after you uh unlock the plane you have to research the plane to unlock it and then you can put it in one of your five crews you have to purchase the crews and then train them with your coins but the coins aren't really um that much of a problem because you do have plenty of them the only thing that uh, is really hard to do is research the planes because that does uh, take time. Uh, but other than just clicking the research button and playing the game to wait for the plane to be given to you or tank, um, 
then it's really not that hard. But it encourages you to keep playing on and playing on because you can't just unlock them all at once. Um, this game also has no need for microtransactions. It is very skill-based, so that kind of cancels out the microtransaction feature there. Um, and it is pretty easy to run. Um, I mean, for a game of this size, it is very easy to run for this type of game. Um, there are lots of settings that you can configure to your liking, so that is always a big plus there. And as I said before, it is extremely, extremely skill-based, and I love skill-based games. So that is why it took the number one spot on this list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe for more, and check out www.saucygamersyt.us. See you all next time. Bye.